Meghan Markle here. Today is August 25th, 2024. It is 6.31 a.m. And I just realized that one of my videos was not properly scheduled. So nothing popped up at 6 a.m. So I quickly put one out. This week we're going to go on vacation. And I had a lot of videos for you guys. So I just picked one and made it public. And what I was doing most of the night was creating thumbnails for all of these videos. And on PYTE as well. I was creating thumbnails. I was not in the mood to make any videos. Um, yesterday I ate, uh, my husband was, buy, was buying McDonald's for the kids and I told him, get me a large fries. I felt like eating it. It did not go well with me. Because I've been eating so clean. I will not say too healthy, but I cook my own meal. Okay, I cook my own meal so I know what oil that I use and all of that. But yesterday I just wanted to eat a little bit McDonald's. It did not make me feel well at all. So last night I didn't feel like recording anything. And I was like, you know what? Um, I'm up. I'm not doing anything. Let me do the thumbnail. So that's all I was doing. But um, I was going to go in the living room and my husband crashed <laughs> on the couch. So anyway so these are the numbers i'm not sure where i'm gonna put this video probably on happy team sussex because there's a video that i saw and i felt like i should share it with you because on one of the videos that i did yesterday you know i usually bring random conversation when i'm recording um one of the things that i was talking about was the three branches of government their roles and my own perspective and then to make it clear that i was talking about the right thing i searched some of them up so i came across a video where a lady was literally is literally explaining what's going on so i felt like i wanted to share it with you so this is why i'm recording even though i have a list this is the list that I have um, to do today and then tackle some of the old tweets. I don't know if you guys uh, saw some of the videos. I keep on saying I have some list of tweets that I wanted to share with you during Harry and Meghan's visit to Colombia, but they were not that really important. There's a possibility I may not even get to them anymore because there's so much to do. And then um, I have... Uh, I'm going on vacation, so I may not even get to them. And today, I'm not feeling well to record anything. So what I'm going to do is tackle these videos, and this is the video that really makes me want to do the recording today. All right, so I think I'm going to put it on, hmm, I see Columbia, Prayer, Sussex Effect. When I'm editing, I'll determine where I'm going to put it. So this is PYTE background, and this is Apu Team Sussex background. Okay, seventy-three dollars and fifty-three cents. Uh, fifteen cents. Seventy-three dollars and fifteen cents. Analytics. One thousand three hundred thirty-one views in the last forty-eight hours. So let's go on Twitter. This is the video. All right. Say even louder for the dumb. At the back, this is not the Grammys. Okay. It's pretty long, nine minutes and 19 seconds. It's worth sharing it because it's a lot of information for people in the United States. All right, let me go into it so you could see it much bigger. And then um, I'll read some of the comments. Family, please pull up a chair. And I mean everybody. Let's listen. I'm sorry, there will be a screenshot, okay? Dear Jermaine Dupri and any other that got to say about Kamala Harris running for president. I already put this on Twitter, but sometimes tone is misinterpreted with the written word, so I thought I'd say it. 
Now, Jermaine Dupri posted this rambling nonsense on social media yesterday, and I'm not really sure what this man who cheated on Janet Jackson is asking, but I think the answer is you don't understand how the system works, Jermaine. There are a... Uh, I saw his video on Twitter. I didn't even bother clicking because when I see s people like that talking about um, politics, I'm like it, it, trying to sway people to vote. They only think of money. They think the Republicans really care. Yes, the Republicans do care about money, but many of these black rich celebrities, they really think, some of them, think that Republicans care about them, especially black or Hispanic rich young men. They think Republicans care about it. So when I saw it had to do with uh, politics, I didn't even bother clicking. All right, so let's continue. A lot of things people think presidents can do without congressional approval, but people are wrong. Congress has a lot of power. Now, Jermaine, I know you are a successful businessman and CEO, but our government is not a business. <laughs> it runs on a constitution. And to make laws or spend federal money in this country, you have to follow a set of rules that are enforced by Robert's rules. And people who belong to D9 organizations or basically any organization that has constitution and bylaws, they are very familiar with Robert's rules. But people who own record labels and ice cream companies are not. Additionally, our government is basically run on the honor system. Everybody is supposed to respect and follow and enforce the rules. Republicans do not do this. They exploit the rules <laughs> so that they can cheat and get rule changes in their favor. They create problems to look like they are the only ones that can solve problems. Okay. Does people in the UK, if you're listening to this, does that make sense to you? Does that make sense to you? These are the same blueprint with the Tories in the UK. Let's continue. And if the GOP gets power back this November, they are going to change the rules of how our government works so that they can remain in power permanently. That is why Trump packed the federal courts during his term. That is why he packed the Supreme Court so that they could cheat legally. And there is no boss or CEO that can stop them. Now we... Um, if you look and I think on Happy Team Sussex, I'm still not sure where I'm going to put this video. I have some videos where I list some of the judges that President Biden put in the first, I guess, first two years of his presidency. Go check that out. Let's continue. And also on yesterday's video, I was talking about Kamala Harris cannot do everything. We need to pick senators and house uh, representative that align with her vision so without the senate Kamala Harris cannot do anything all right so let's continue we, and when I say we I mean women I mean indigenous people I mean black people I mean Latinos I mean Asians I mean the LGBTQIA community immigrants we weren't supposed to be included in this government the way our constitution was originally written. That's why they had to write amendments. And everybody is supposed to respect and follow the amendments. And the amendments are what give all those marginalized groups rights. So how do you discriminate against people that the amendments protect? You make new laws that defy the amendments. Who is going to make you stop making new laws? The people you discriminate against? They are poor and they cannot afford to take you to court. And court is the only way we can have laws changed in this country. And even if we did take these fools to court, the federal appeals courts have been packed with MAGA judges mm -hmm. by Trump. So is the Supreme Court. So and this is why one of the main reasons I think Trump doesn't even care with the BS that he keep on saying. Because he already, in my humble opinion, I think he already have people and places to mess up the uh, the election. So when there's mixed up, where do you go? To the court. And once you go to the court, who you gonna meet? People that backs him up. So this is why we need to vote in full force to back Kamala Harris where they cannot steal the vote, just like 2020. And hopefully, based on my perception, what I'm seeing in comparison to 2020, 
we sort of have a better chance because in 2020, not too many people were fully aware of what was going on. Like I've said in so many other videos, it was black, Hispanic, Native American, and some minor minorities who put Biden in office to put a halt. I call it a halt on what was going on. But now in 2024, more people are aware and Roe versus Wade that overturned sort of, I think, put people on high alert. So we might have a better chance. But if we're looking at the poll that's saying Kamala Harris is ahead, da 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 da, don't worry about that. It means nothing if people do not go and vote. You need to go vote despite what they say about the poll. Let's continue. Even if you are logically and morally wrong for changing the laws, you will be upheld as legally right in this country <laughs> with the current uh, government that we have. Trump and the GOP are trying to legally make a slave class in this country. Period. Point blank. They want to change the laws so that they can oppress us legally and there is mm -hmm. nothing we can do about it for generations because the supreme court they have now will uphold these laws they want minorities and women in america to be suckers and slaves in order to make trump and whomever he and his cronies deem worthy more wealthy now project 2025 is a real life guide to becoming gilead from the handmaid's tale and this is not an exaggeration if you have not looked up what Project 2025 plans to do to anybody who is not a white, heteronormative, Christo-fascist male in this country, you better get your ass on Google and read. For those of you who fell asleep in civics class all the time, two thirds of mm -hmm. Congress can override anything a president wants to do. With the This is the part that I really wanted you guys to listen to, okay? The president do not have ultimate power. And this is what Trump wants to do. He wants to have the ultimate power. Right now, no. There's three branches of the government. They all, all three have equal rights. And each one of them have their own specific rules and regulation and their task. The president only sign laws into effect. Or he or she can veto it. It is Congress job to make the law and then the the supreme court enforce the law so what we have here so far with the gop and what we are seeing already two of the three branches are aligned you have the gop that are in the senate and that some of them and majority of them are in the house and the senate and then the Supreme Court, where Trump put majority of his people. All right? These two already on a line. So we need to make sure it's Biden that's stopping them right now. Okay? Which is the third branch, the executive. So when we go vote, we need to vote for people that align with, with Vice President um, uh, Harris. So that way, when they get in office, they could make things right. If, for instance, you pick Kamala Harris and then you pick the GOP, nothing is going to happen. Why? Because the Senate will not advance the cause. They will stall it, stall it. Look what's happening right now with Biden. Many things Biden wants to do, the House prevented from moving forward. Okay? So, this is very important. People need to understand. And when they complain, oh, what did the president do? What did this? What did that? It lies on the Senate. If the Senate does not pass the law and for the bill to go onto the desk of the president to make it into law, nothing will happen. Okay? When we saw the House was keep on changing speakers and all of that, all this was to prevent anything from moving forward because they knew what they were planning on doing. They didn't expect, the, I guess they thought they have everything in the bag, and we still don't know who's going to win the presidency. So, anyway, let's listen to her, okay? <laughs> the number of MAGA Republicans in Congress, there will never be an override if they get back in power. 
Y'all only show up every four years mm -hmm. to vote for the president and you refuse to show up every two years in the midterms to give the president the Congress they need to pass legislation they had on their platform or to stop bad presidents from implementing harmful legislation. Since okay, this is what had happened to President Obama on his very first term, very first term. People went out and vote and, you know, back him up and he had the House and the Senate and this is how the ACA was able to pass. And then come two years later, people didn't show up. The Republicans start talking nonsense about Tea Party, this and that. People did not go and vote. And then what did we have? You had President Obama was in office, but there was two extra years left. You had the MAGAs, the Tea Party people in office preventing from anything from moving forward. They were even trying to overturn the, uh, the ACA. All right? So I don't know when people are going to learn this. You have to show up in every election. All right? So let me move it back slightly. Listen to her. Only show up every four years to vote for the president, and you refuse mm -hmm. to show up every two years in the midterms to give the president the Congress they need to pass legislation they had on their platform or to stop bad presidents from implementing harmful legislation. Since Bill Clinton's second term, we have had hyperpartisan nonsense going on in our Congress. And there are a lot of reasons why that was going on, but it was mostly because Bill Clinton started fixing the mess of Reaganomics. When Bill Clinton was in office, America was in a surplus. Every time we put Republicans in power in our government, mm. we are at a financial deficit and they look to all the poor people to make up the deficit. That's why inflation and our taxes and cost so much while these companies are making record profits. Okay? And too many minorities were benefiting during the 90s. That's why they had it out for Bill Clinton's and that's why they tried to impeach him over that nonsense that happened with him and Monica Lewinsky. It is not a coincidence that one of the architects of getting Clinton impeached back then is our present sitting uh, Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. Since 1973, oh. they have been trying to get women I was not aware of that with the Kavanaugh guy regarding Clinton with what she just said. I was not aware of that. Very interesting. Back under control because that is when women started receiving the legal right to do things on their own, to have a bank account on your own, to have a credit card on your own, to purchase a home on your own. We could not do that before 1973. And then lots of the provisions in the Civil Rights Act that allowed minorities to vote have expired and they do not want to renew them. That is why they had to present the John Lewis Voting Act because the original Voting Act has expired. These people do not want women or minorities to have rights in this country. They want the government they originally had with white land owning men and they want to do it legally. And if you don't believe me, ask yourself why Rick Santorum's crazy has been trying to force a constitutional convention in this country since damn near Obama's first term. Because they do not want black people, brown people, Asian people, indigenous people, LGBTQIA people. They do not want us in power in this country, y'all. If we elect Kamala Harris as president, she can't do nothing if mm. we don't give her the House and the Senate she Bingo. needs to get it done. That's why we say vote down the ballot, vote for all the Democrats, and fire the GOP. She needs it in 2024, she needs it in 2026, she's going to need it in 2028, she's going to need it in 2030. You have to keep coming back and voting in the midterms, okay? But if Trump gets in there, he has enough cult members in Congress to get the rules changed mm -hmm. and our rights are done. We will be living in Russia Jr. for the next few generations. Not the next few years, the next few generations. I need y'all to remember that Jim Crow laws had to be overturned by the Supreme Court. These motherfuckers did not just start acting right because they had some kind of epiphany about bigotry. The laws changed and then they enforced the laws. That is why they're trying to change them back. Y'all really got to start focusing on the right things, bruh. So all you impressionable people out there 
who listen to celebrities just because they have mm. money or listen to Jermaine Dupree just because he's famous and made some good bops. Do not let them who cheated on Janet Jackson influence mm. you to make a bad decision for your life too. We can actually crush the Republican Party this year because they are broke as a joke, okay? We can crush them and keep working to shape our government the way we want it to look if we participate. This is a slow process, y'all, mm -hmm. but you have to participate every year and not just pop out every four years talking and being a contrarian. In summation, please learn how the system works and participate in your government every election. These people are our employees, y'all. It is up to us to hire and fire the people who make the laws that run our lives. And that is what voting is. The hiring process is a zero-sum group project. If you don't show up, the other team is winning. If you vote for a third party that cannot win, the other team is still gaining votes and winning. Mm -hmm. The only way for you to win is to vote against <coughs> the who are trying to hurt you. If you do not vote against the incompetent candidate, which is basically the majority of the GOP, America is and so is your freedom. Real talk. So all of this nonsense y'all going on and on about, you need to stop it. You need to learn how our system works and you need to vote how and fire the entire GOP. So I thought that was very important to share this with you because <clears throat> she explained it so much better than my video. Okay, let's see here. Thanks, Mr. Akins, for the share. Respect from the UK family. Uh, why? She's absolutely brilliant. If you don't follow her at, who's that? Is it here? Okay, account suspended. Oh, they suspended her account if that was hers. Okay, on, what's that? Twitter? You should. I don't know if she teaches civics or political science, but she definitely should. She's on fire. And go follow. Who's that? A Creole Benje. Oh, who's that again? Okay, so these are other people. But this is the squad, I think, who who shared it, and then I went into it. Because I don't follow a lot of people. Say it even louder for the dumb. That's the word here. At the back, this is not the Grammys. Okay, that woman is great at explaining exactly what's going on. I think that in the U.S. and U.K., the similarities between Tories and Republicans are uncomfortably close. I've been saying this. They are the same. Look who came to the RNC. I, you had, was I think it was two, was it two or three? Two former uh, prime ministers of the Tories, the lady, Bojo, uh, and currently was this guy uh, I I'll put the screenshot of those people who showed up at the RNC they're pretty much the same alright she's on point I just hope people listen and try to understand the system can be explained any simpler that's why alright that's an ad alright so let me add those two let me see one two three four five five other tweets that I started putting yesterday to create a new one Oh, that's her again. Oh, I put her twice. VP TikTok. Let me see. Maybe I put the wrong one. Let's see something. Let me make sure I'm getting the correctly. I think I put her twice. Yeah, I put her twice. Okay. So, four more. <laughs> Next tweet. So, there's that here. You know, when you meet a person for the first time and you feel like you have been so made forever. You know what I'm going to do? The first one, maybe I'll do it by itself, a video by itself, and then these will be on PYTE. I think that's what I'll do. All right. So
Tanaka. It is a great privilege to be with all of you today. You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back. Yeah. 